Welcome to the Experience Better video podcast series. Today I have a special guest, uh, Autumn Dugan. She's a speech language pathologist. I'm Josh Buechler, a physical therapist. So she's going to educate me and the rest of us about uh, what speech therapists do and, and talk to us a little about some specific things. So what, what is a speech therapist? What do you see? What do you do? What do you treat? Um, we treat anything from birth to adults. Um, birth school age kids are usually speech and language. So your R's and your S's and are you saying enough words at certain milestones? Are you using correct vocabulary? That kind of stuff as well as pragmatic skills for those on the autism spectrum. We also do feeding and swallowing mm. with um, the pediatrics. With the adults, it usually is under a general umbrella of, you know, neurological injuries or conditions. Mm. So your strokes, your traumatic brain injuries, sure. your Parkinson's, your um, MS, your ALS patients. Mm -hmm. We also see a lot of head and neck cancer. Mm. Um, that I mean, that's a wide range of symptoms. So you can have voice issues. You can have. Um, motor speech, so your um, respiratory support, your speech intelligibility, as well as can you understand what people are saying to you, can mm -hmm. you get out your thoughts and your opinions, um, and then as well as swallowing impairments. What's an example of like a swallowing impairment? Like what are, what are those typically called? Um, it's called dysphagia is the medical jargon term for it. What does that it. mean? So uh, my speech therapy brain, or my, my physical therapy brain isn't as big It as basically brain, just so. means you're having trouble swallowing. Gotcha. Um, there's different types of dysphagia where we break it up into the phases of the swallow. So mm. it could be oral dysphagia, meaning are you having trouble chewing your food or manipulating the food in kind of this part of your mouth? Is it pharyngeal? So is it more in here? Is it going down into your airway? Do you have things sticking? Hmm. So for for those at home who have themselves or friends and family who don't know, what, what are the signs and symptoms? What, what would be like something we worry about seeing? A or lot of people come in and they say, I'm, you know, throat clearing a lot with my meals or my liquids or I'm coughing more with my meals. Mm -hmm. A lot of people complain of things sticking in their throat. Um, some people will say, you know, it's more of an effort to swallow mm -hmm. or I get tired when I'm swallowing and mm -hmm. I've never noticed that before. And those are usually the common complaints. Gotcha. And so this, like the swallow, just like if you wanted to get stronger with your legs or arms, whatever, you can get stronger with your swallow as well. And that's, and that's where you come in. Right. Help, you help diagnose and then you treat. Right. Absolutely. Gotcha. So yeah. usually the patients will come in once they have a doctor's script, we'll mm -hmm. do kind of a bedside swallow eval is what we call it. So we look at your lip, um, your tongue coordination strength, as well as kind of the strength and the coordination of your muscles here in your mm. throat. Um, we look at to see, are you coughing with things? Are your oxygen saturations maybe um, mm. fluctuating as we go? Mm. And then we usually do a modified barium swallow study, which right. is actually an x-ray of your swallow, oh, okay. which will tell us 100% what the causes are, as well as are things going down the right way or are they going down the wrong way into your lungs? And that's bad news. Bad news. Bad news. So yeah, so that's great. Um, not great if you have swallowing right. condition or but anything great like that. that you know but great you can fix it so <laughs> right uh so the appropriate steps would be if you notice somebody's having those difficulties you described get a hold of your doctor suggest speech therapy may be the answer um and uh go from there yeah exercises are usually um a little out there just because there's <laughs> we have to think of ways to get to those muscles oh, you know it's not like yeah. the foot where we can actually manipulate it so right um, a lot of people kind of roll their eyes at us when they first come in or laugh because they think it's pretty comical, but I promise they work. Just give us some time and they usually end. Yep. end I'll definitely up. vouch for people very happy with, with Autumn's care oh, and thank everything. You. So, um, well, happy speech, uh, ha better speech and hearing month. Yes. May is better speech and hearing month. Not that we don't celebrate speech therapists every month, <laughs> but this is your special month. So congratulations on that. Uh, this last weekend, um, I took my daughter golfing for the very first time, and uh, we, you know, we, we only played like one and a half holes. Like, I mean, the first hole was kind of a disaster, and the second hole we started basically just off the fringe. And then when we get done, she's like, "Dad, you know, I I get why golf is so boring on TV. Like, they hit it and it's on the hole, and they put it in, and it's just like that's it. But with you, it's kind of like an adventure. Like, we got to go in the trees." There was a sand. There was like a sandbox over here. Like this was she fun. Was calling you out. Oh, absolutely. Here. And I was like, there's never been a better description of my golf game. So I love it. I was like, this is. Leave it to Julie to put absolutely. it in that way so, to call yeah, you out. Thanks. I love it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.